Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Talk, episode number 107. Now, what we're going to be taking a look at is, I'm all for keeping your kids in check, but this seems a little creepy from Slate. I found a creepy list on my son's laptop. Okay, fair enough. We'll look into this. Now, before we get into it, though, please click the like button down below, the subscribe button down below. Go over to my other channel, Legion Games 2076, and subscribe there. Uh, and if you feel the need to support me more personally, uh, you can find my uh, subscribe star and Patreon in the description. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. All right. Found this creepy list on my son's laptop from... Not going to even try to say that name. Doyen Richards? Dear, dear care and feeding. I don't know what that means. Uh, apparently, this is like a my son Jack, fourteen, has been maintaining a spreadsheet that tracks all of his classmates' problematic actions. Jack has always had difficulty fit fitting in, but he is compassionate and an intelligent boy. We do not allow our children to have their own computers to prevent risk of them being radicalized by alt right websites. radicalized by alt-right websites okay so our kids share a laptop that we monitor and control access to we found an excel spreadsheet in jack's folder that listed the names of all his classmates as well as as dates and descriptions of their problematic behavior okay some of the descriptions i saw include has a mom who is a cop no pronouns in insta bio laughed at a fat joke lists problematic show as one of their favorites mimicked a foreign accent and used cis normative language wow okay so you're you're raising your kid to be a psycho you understand that right this kid's is this kid is being raised to be a psycho while I am pleased to see J Jack taking an interest in his peers, I get a weird feeling about his spreadsheet. As much as I don't condone the behaviors mentioned, it seems a bit creepy for him to be monitoring his classmates. Yeah, because you did it. I also wonder what he is trying to do with the document. Another concern is that we are, is that we are white and some of the kids on the list are black. Okay, the whole list is creepy. Given the long history of white people policing black existence oh, for the fuck's sake. This is why your kids screwed up. Line one. Given the long history of white people policing black existence. What? You realize there were African tribes when they would conquer another tribe, they would they would assimilate the women into their tribe and they would make and they would make the men slaves and there was a good chance they would kill the ki the children but that's you know never mind to me i question whether jack is the right person to be taking on this task and whether it would be more appropriate for coming from a bipoc person jesus mary and joseph you're the problem you're the problem with your kid. You're an insane psycho, and you've created a psycho. Congratulations. You're just a more functioning psycho because it probably came to you later on in life because you're a loser who's like, oh, I understand. I'm, so, I'm such a problem to the, to, the, to the BIPOC community. But now your kid is a teenager who they're little sociopaths on their own because they're, they're, the chemical imbalances are firing at, at the speed of light. And quite frankly, you've screwed them up. We have asked Jack about the spreadsheet and he d denies involvement. So now he lies too. Well, most teenagers do so. But, uh, but we know that it couldn't be anyone else's. Am I right to be concerned about Jack's list? Yes! Unless you want another school shooter. I don't know what it is the best way for him to engage with his peers and promote social justice. How about not? How about don't, don't promote social justice? Let him be a fucking kid. You thrust the bullshit problems of this world on a 14-year-old, probably starting at an earlier age because you're a psycho yourself. 
and you've created a psycho, and now you're trying to figure out how to stop the psycho. Or on the other hand, I am proud of how committed he is to the, to this cause, and I don't want him to stop from bearing witness to injustice within his own community. Problematic or productive? Oh, I gotta read this. Please, 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 Slate. Please. Please set this lady right. She needs to take her kid to therapy, and she needs to sit right along next to him. Based on what you've mentioned here, his list does seem a little creepy. Not a little, a lot of creepy. Kids at that age should be having fun. Bingo! Thank you, Slate. For well, I'll give you one point. Not documenting every transgression his peers are making. Point two. Also, the fact that he's blatantly lying about his involvement in creating this list should be a huge red flag. Point three. Oh, Slate is on it. If everything is up on the, is on the up and up, then what does he have to hide? Point four. I would personally call his bluff and say, okay, if this spreadsheet has nothing to do with you, then let's delete it. If he raises a stink, then you should know something bigger is at play here. Point five. Wow. Slate's on it. Slate's on it. Okay. I respect your viewpoint about being uncomfortable with Jack policing the behavior of his black peers. But as a black man, okay, well, fair. That should be the least of your concerns. This guy's hitting it right on. I like it. Your main objective is to find out why he wants to monitor his classmates in the first place. He is trying to be a social justice vigilante in an effort to be viewed as cool. Yeah, he's he does he want his classmates to uh, classmates to be canceled for doing doing things that he considers to be wrong as a form of payback for not being accepted by them. The possibilities are endless. Oh yeah, and the worst possibility is not good. If you don't feel equipped to get to the bottom of it, then I highly recommend getting a therapist involved because his behavior is not typical for a 14-year-old. Good God. Thank you, Slate. On a positive note, there are far worse things Jack could be doing than this, and it seems as if his heart is in the right place by being in the corner of marginalized groups. But I'll give it a pass, you know, because it, it doesn't go any farther than that. It doesn't say, it doesn't go into the weird details the mother does. Of like, you know, BIPOC people. He could use his energy to volunteer as a big brother. Absolutely! Write for the school newspaper if they have one. Absolutely. Or look for other opportunities at school to make everyone feel included. Absolutely. <laughs> I think the spreadsheet is something that could end up being bad news for him. Yeah. And I hope you enroll him in therapy so an unbiased mental health professional can tell him the same thing. Who, who did this? Dorian Richards, sir. I'm not even fucking around. Thank you. I think you just prevented a school shooting. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. This kid should not be worried about this kind of stuff. He needs to be in school activities. He needs to be, um, he needs to be in extracurricular activities of, you know, volunteering. He does not need to be worried about what his peers are doing on Instagram or what kind of jokes they're making. This is, it sounds like he's making a hit list of targets that are, you know, the most egregious. Thank you, Slate. Oh, thank God. No, thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This man right here, Doyen Richards. Dude hit the nail on the head. An unbiased mental health professional. Thank you. God bless. That's great. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this article because, wow, thank you. I think we just uh, averted a, a future tragedy. I'm not joking. I didn't do that about ki kids when I was 14 years old. I cared about video games. 
I cared about video games and playing soccer. Don't ever put your political baggage on your kids. Don't put any of your baggage on your kids. It's not their fault. They didn't do it. You're the parent. Talk to an adult friend or an adult therapist about your baggage and your political views. Don't, don't thrust them on your kids. It's not fair to them. They have earned the right to be kids. You brought them into this world and you have own, need to own the right that you need to let them be kids until the day they turn 18 and they're no longer your child, they're an adult. Thank you, Doyen Richards. Good God bless America for that, man. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you again real soon.